Hi and welcome to another episode of Making Things. Today I'll show you how to make your very own cable lug connectors for under a dollar. Right. I need to make uh, lug connectors and here at least they go for about uh, eight dollars a pair and you need the crimper for them or uh, about 20 bucks a pair if you want to use the uh, hammer crimp style. So instead what I'm going to try to do is make some out of copper. What I've done is I've only I've cut uh, three short pieces that are going to line the inside and I'm going to use uh, picks, copper crimp rings to fasten everything together once I've filled the gap with pieces of copper. Now I'm just using the uh, 3 eighths to shape it back just because the 3 eighths connector is actually the outer diameter of a half inch copper pipe since the rings that go around a given size of pipe are obviously larger than the pipe itself. Well, that's not true actually. The 3 8 is a bit smaller than a uh, half inch. And I know this because I tried to shrink it yesterday, see if I could use that to fit it inside, but it really doesn't. It's almost exactly the size. This works. All right, now that I've crimped this as much as I can, it actually, it holds okay, but I definitely can pull it away if I want. Do it. So I already had a feeling I'd made it a bit short, and I, I did, I mean it'll be okay, but I think next time I'm going to make sure I have a solid 3 inches, uh, just to make sure it doesn't doesn't cause any trouble down, down the road. Now that I've flattened it a bit, I'm actually going to cut a little notch, notch at the top just to, just to help bring it down. getting hot. There you go. Yeah, I'm satisfied with that. So 
So right now I'm trying to get it to melt into that notch, but it'll have to wait till this copper conducts heat really well. So it's gonna have to wait till uh, the copper is heated up sufficiently, obviously. Not necessarily going to go a very standard size. I tend to see 3 eighths all over. I mean, you know, battery terminal size and such. But I'm going to go with a quarter just because I do everything with a quarter 20. I mean, that's not true. I don't do everything. I do practically everything with a quarter 20. That way it's really easy for me to keep a stock of all sorts of different sizes of. Uh, of bolts, you know, different lengths, different materials, different tips, and it's easy for me to keep, you know, six, eight different options and of, of bolts and then four or five different options of nuts and a few a few rods and, and all of a sudden I've got pretty much every combination imag imaginable. So even though it's quite frequently overkill for what I'm doing, saves me trouble because I don't need to go and buy unique things every time that are to spec and I don't need to uh, I can I can save a lot of money in the end because I'm not a, a volume purchaser to start with so using this to deeper does a pretty good job for most of it but you'll need to deeper properly later so there you go obviously I could have made this larger to be standard size but again this is for my personal use and I wanted quarter 20 so I got quarter 20 and as far as uh, how well this is holding on it's not going anywhere Now the ones I made here are for size 1 cables, but really since I had to put a few extra layers of copper, obviously you'd be able to fit a larger cable in there easily. The thing though is that volumetrically to get the same uh, equivalent gauge as number 1 wire with half inch copper tube, you need 4 layers of it. Now if you've got a really good connection between your two lug connectors or if your lug connector is going on something that's got a, a base a metallic base that's okay because if I've got an inner tube and the one you see out here that's two of them and then you put the other lug connector to it and if you've made it to have very little clearance like I have then you've got four copper tubes stacked so a total of eight layers you're going larger than that it might get a little difficult so maybe you're better off using instead of half inch uh, get some something a bit bigger three quarter and then have a couple layers of that and you can use the same principle it's just you're gonna need to start off bigger and and put a bit more filler but you know I, I leave that to you the charts are pretty easy to find on online if you want more details just check out my instructables where I go from A to Z on building the spot welder and I go through a lot more detail on how I determined what how much uh, copper pipe was sufficient to be equivalent to uh, my number one gauge wire and from there you can get everything you need to figure out the equivalence for yourself as well if you're using a different size device 
I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, please, please like, subscribe, leave your feedback. Have a good day.